Hey everyone, it's Tina. Happy Sunday! Woohoo! We've only got a few more days until FinCon 2017, and I am so, so excited. If you haven't figured it out by now, um, what I wanted to do today is just tell you a little bit about what I'm going to be talking about fin at FinCon and to, um, to, to, to share some of the to share some of the slides. So bear with me. I am using B Live TV. Yes. So this live Facebook broadcast is coming to you by way of B Live. I actually recorded this B Live before, but my internet all of a sudden decided it wanted to stop working. And so I'm going to give an abbreviated version of what I did before. So hopefully that you all find value in it. And hopefully this is working great. Okay, so let um let's let's talk. Let's talk about let's talk about FinCon. Let me tell you a little bit of what FinCon is. Just playing with the slides. Okay, great. So let me tell you a little bit about what FinCon is. So FinCon FinCon is the largest conference of financial bloggers and uh, financial media people. So these are some 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 names that you might have heard of before. Uh, Farnoosh uh, Tarobi has a uh, has a podcast. So they're podcast bloggers and some really really cool people. I'll be going for the first time, and so I'm going to be talking a little bit about Facebook. And the name of my talk is called "Thumb Stopping Tips and Tricks for." Um, to grab attention on Facebook mobile. So I'm going to share my screen. Ah. Oh, this is an interesting thing. So it's not allowing me to share my screen because I have the light package. Okay, so I learned something new. So let me talk a little bit now about... But I, am, I will be talking about it FinCon, and again, I have my script right over here. So let's kind of just run through the slides here. Again, the name of my talk is Thumb Stopping, How to Grab Attention on Facebook Mobile, Tips and Tricks. So if you're attending FinCon, it is Friday, October 27th at 3 p.m. in Dallas. That's Dallas, D for Dallas, O2. That's the room. So thumb stopping October 27th in Dallas O2. And um, the first thing that I want to just tell you a little bit about, and the reason that I named it thumb stopping and wanted to do a talk on Facebook is because the competition for attention is very fierce right now. And when I created the, the talk for FinCon, actually I did it three months ago when I, when I put in the, uh, the proposal. And the thing is that it's changed entirely because Facebook keeps on changing its platform. There are upgrades every single week. And so that's part of the reason why competition is so difficult right now. It's difficult to be seen in the mobile feed because the, the platforms are constantly changing and Facebook is constantly changing. So hopefully these strategies give you a little bit of um of an edge that's what they're designed to do so when i tell you that that competition is fierce let me just give you some of the stats every one in five mobile minutes is spent spent on facebook and instagram again every one in five mobile minutes so chances are if you're walking through a crowd of people one in five of those people is on facebook and instagram almost guaranteed right the other Thing to be aware of is that there's 2.01 billion people on Facebook. Those are monthly active users. That is from Facebook's latest estimate. So that is pretty, pretty huge. Um, the other thing has to do with video content. Now, this was an incredible statistic. There's more video updated in 30 days than there has been in 30 years of network TV. So that's how much video content is flying around right now. And that's gonna be strategy number one. 
is video content. So if you want to be seen in the feed, you need to start using video. You can use it in a variety of ways. You can do Facebook mob, uh, Facebook Live, which I'm very bullish on Facebook Live, and I'm very bullish on Facebook anyway. You should know that I um, I have stock in Facebook and LinkedIn and Google and Amazon. So I'm very bullish on, on all of the tech and what's happening right now. I tell you that because in full disclosure, I am Series 665 registered. So I have to tell that to you. Okay. Um, so let's get back to Facebook Live. Facebook Live and video are things that you have to start to experiment with and you have to get comfortable with uncomfortable. There are a couple of ways that you can do Facebook Live. Number one is you could do it through your mobile phone. That is the easiest, easiest way to do it. Um, I've done that. You can check the C-suite social media video um, feed in order to see that. And I'm going to be recording a lot of Facebook Live on the go at FinCon 17. Can't wait. The second way to do a Facebook Live broadcast is like how I'm doing it right now, using a service like Be Live. And this broadcast, I'm actually recording through a desktop. It's really my laptop. I'm recording it through my laptop computer, but it will be able to be seen in Facebook, uh, Facebook mobile feed. Hold on, let me just turn off the heater. Okay, thanks. Sorry if there was a little bit of background noise. So let's get back to point number one, get comfortable with uncomfortable, start using video, experiment with Facebook Live, do it through the, do it through your cell phone and also do it through a, um, a service like Be Live. Why am I recommending Be Live? Because that brings me to tip number two. You're going to tag team Facebook properties. So by doing a Facebook Live through Be Live, it notifies everyone in Facebook Messenger. Pretty cool, right? So you want to, in order to get seen in the feed, you have to make sure that you're visible. And combining two platforms of Facebook Messenger and, 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 um, and the regular Facebook feed will enable you to do that. Another uh, interesting statistic on video, and that is that Think with Google did a study. 81% of video viewing occasions get all or most of people's attention. So if you're seeing me right now on video or on the mobile feed, this is exactly why we're talking about. And again, these numbers were substantiated by Think with Google, 81%. So video is the most engaging type of platform or type of content, I should say. Okay, now let's look at a um, let's look at another strategy. Um, I want you to design for sound off. So what that means is that after this Facebook Live video has 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 rec has been recorded, you're able to add uh captions or add a transcription file so that you design for sound off so that is let me okay good so hopefully when those when when i add the transcription when i add the captions that it, it will be over here usually in in this area so again you're going to use text okay this is a tip you're going to use text and you're going to add it to the recording of your video. And that will help you increase your visibility in the mobile feed. The next thing that you're going to do, this would be strategy. I think we're on number four is to build a custom audience. What does that, what does that mean? Well, once you have this video with the captions on Facebook live, you might have to actually pay Facebook to promote that content. And you want to promote it to the people who matter. And not everyone on your feed, um, we all have different groups of different groups of people. So you might have your friends, but then you also too might have the people that are connected to your page. So by you creating a Facebook 
custom audience. It allows you to get in front of those people that matter. So how are you going to do that? Well, there's a strategy. There is a tool called a Facebook pixel. And that's a little piece. It's a little snippet of code. That snippet of code is going to is going to reside on your website in the source code behind the scenes. So nobody really sees it. But if you have a Facebook pixel helper in Chrome, then you'll be able to see who that um, uh, whether or not you're on a page that you're whether or not you're being pixeled as you visit different sites. OK, so the custom audience. And the audience, again, of people who a specific group of people that you want to target is created by installing a, a piece of code on your website called a Facebook pixel that identifies those people who have been on your website. You can also define a custom audiences by the demographic and psychographic um, aspects of knowing who those people are. And so they might be people who, um, in this case, who have attended FinCon or maybe who have been talking about FinCon on their page or on their post. So you can target people as well. The other way that um, bloggers, and there are a lot of them attending FinCon 17, yay bloggers, that you can upload um, a file of your newsletter, your subscribers basically, and Facebook will create an audience based on those people. So not those people exactly, but pe people who match those qualities as far as Facebook users. And that's called a lookalike audience. I hope this is making sense. And I apologize if, if I'm going a, a little bit all over the place. Again, I thought that I would have the the slides and be able to make it a little bit clearer to you. If you want a copy of these slides, do me a favor, send me notification in Facebook Messenger and I'll make sure that you receive them after I do the talk on October 27th. So then another strategy that I'll be talking about at FinCon is getting really cool with visual tools. And what I love is that there's a lot of them that are built within Facebook. You have all probably have done a, um, a Facebook 360 degree um, uh, photo. That is really super cool. I know that I'm going to be doing that when I give my talk at FinCon. I'm actually going to create an, um, the 360 degree photo of the room and of other sites as well there too. So I encourage you that, that you use that. That's a great way to get attention in the feed. The other way is to make yourself a GIF. And you can do that again within Facebook, within Facebook as you're creating a, um, a post. So it will give you the idea to do that. I, again, I apologize that I don't have a screen on that, but look into that strategy. The other are some paid tools and some free tools. One that I like that one of my friends uses, and she's a marathon runner. She's amazing, actually. She does marathons and triathlons. And this is a, um, a, a program called Relive, Relive, Relive. And so what Relive does is it creates this like overhead 360 degree map of the course. And so it's got this really cool animation effect and also these, this, these cool visuals. In order to use that service, it's got to be hooked up to a um, like a geo like a tracking geolocation um, tracking mechanism, like a uh, like a Garmin or a uh, Strata. So that's it's really cool. If you run marathons, I and you're wearing one of these tracking devices, absolutely, you probably know the Relive, but it's very very cool. So check it out. The other is a service that I found thanks to Social Media Examiner. Thank you very much, Social Media Examiner. And that is called Plotograph. And what Plotograph enables you to do is create really cool visuals. The, 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 if you take a picture of a house, for example, and then you've got the landscape or the sky in the background, it enables you to keep the, stat, keep the house separate and add like an animation an animation effect around the um around the sky so very very cool very cool okay 
Oh, good. My name's I again, I'm sorry. I'm trying to to do multitask at the same time and master the learning curve here on BeLive TV. Thanks for putting up with it. So again, that's Plotograph, some really cool visual tools. So if I kind of summarize again, I went really super, super fast. Hopefully that you're coming to my session at FinCon. I'll give you the slides and my presentation will be um, a lot more in depth and a lot easier to understand. So let me just kind of shoot off some of the strategies to start using Facebook Live, start using video, scripted video, even though I didn't talk about it, is a great strategy and that works great. Custom audiences, you're going to build an audience of the people who matter on Facebook. So once you have these videos that you can actually put a little bit budget behind it and be in the feed that people who matter. So yeah, it's a pay for play strategy. The other strategy is this kind of tag team between Facebook properties that is using a service like BeLive so that you're showing up in the Facebook mobile feed, but that you also too, you're showing up on Facebook. And then last is to get cool or get funky with cool visual tools. That would be tools built directly within Facebook, Facebook filters, Facebook 360 degree photo. And then also to um, Giphy, there's, you can create, again, make yourself into a GIF. Uh, you could also, too, use a service like Giphy to do that or do it right within Facebook. Um, Plotograph enables you to do some really cool things with motion and pictures. And then, again, if you're that marathon runner, you can use the uh, Relive to make a, um, a really cool visual of the course and the cool places where you are. So I hope that this helps. And I really hope to see you there in my session. FinCon 17, Friday, October 27th, I'll be in Dallas, D2, um, at the Dallas, uh, at the Dallas Sheridan, at the show, at the conference. So I hope to see you. If you are there, please do me a favor and stop me and say hello, because I'd love to meet you. Thanks again for tuning in, and everyone have a fabulous Sunday. Bye.